We're getting reports of large numbers fleeing into Canada along Interstate 15 and 29. Lincoln, Nebraska is on standby to evacuate. Stand them down. I need to clear those roads and get me a transportation update on the Coast Guard. The Air Force is evacuating its planes at a bases at Minot, Grand Forks, Ellsworth, Nellis, Kirtland, Offutt, Peterson, Edwards. Is there anywhere they're not evacuating? The East Coast, basically. <laughs> Thank you. Wyoming's declared a state of emergency. They've asked for a federal disaster to be called. Did you get that, Denver? Uh, guys. Hey, guys. Looks like we got another bed opened up. The event's open. Michael, how bad is this going to get? Hello? Hey, it's me. Rick, where are you? <coughs> What's that noise? It's sirens. Listen, Yellowstone's erupted. What? I, I can't talk now. I'm with Ken, and we're making for the FEMA office in Denver. Denver? What? I, I, when I get there, I'll call you. Oh, no, wait a minute, Rick. Are you... Listen, you know, I, I feel... Hello? Rick. Are you there? Rick. Initial reports suggest that a team of scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey who are monitoring the site from a field office within the park itself have been killed. The local towns of West Yellowstone and Bozeman are being evacuated amid scenes of panic and confusion. Well, meanwhile, the growing ash cloud is spreading south and east from Yellowstone, raining down its potentially lethal contents across a vast area. The ash is bringing the roads and freeways to a total... Find military installations. What are you doing? Hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay. There is a military installation about four clicks this way. They might have a calm links to FEMA. We're not gonna walk. We can't stay here, Ken. Pop the trunk. No, Rick, Rick, for God's sake, Rick! It's volcanic ash, we can't go out, Nick. When Vesuvius erupted, the people of Pompeii stayed in their houses. How do we know that, Ken? It was reserved in volcanic ash. Right. We, we'd already seen from previous eruptions, Mount St. Helens, Montserrat, Pinatubo. We, we'd already seen that the terrible damage that even small amounts of volcanic ash can do. If it gets in your eyes, it can blind you. When it's breathed in, it will mix with the, the moisture in your lungs to form a suffocating cement. Uh, it's also unbelievably dense. Just 20 centimetres can collapse a roof. Half that amount if the ash gets wet. Only people living within a 100 kilometre radius of Yellowstone had been evacuated. Everyone else caught under the ash cloud was in serious danger. Dave, are you getting this? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Two more vents makes five. I'd say the caldera is definitely opening up. What do you think, Michael? I concur with that. Dave, are we losing you? I believe that's here, on the roof. Hold on. Coming down hard. Dave, you gotta get out of there now. What and go where? Well, you, you got a secret highway no one knows about? What about the people in the motel? Some are gone, but most are staying inside hoping to ride it out. Man, I'm just hoping the room service guy's still around. Mom, I'm off to the shops. So I won't be long. But it's not even 8 o'clock yet. Yeah, I want to be first in the queue. <laughs> what makes you so sure there's going to be a queue? This is London, Mum. There's news of a coming crisis. Of course there's going to be a bloody queue. Hello? No, 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 no. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Bye. That's Rick's boss.
We're still trying to locate him. Don't worry, darling. I'm sure it'll be all right. I'm his mum. He's under the largest ash cloud ever witnessed. So is Ken. Do you not get it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're right. I uh, won't be long, okay? Keep an eye on Will. She's here. Don't don't hang out. Wendy. Wendy Rice. Let him in. Give him anything he wants. They found Rick Lidley. <laughs> I'm sorry to Jeffrey Johnson. Hope you guys understand the precautions. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you for letting us in. There's water downstairs. Cool. Thank you. After you guys. <coughs> Follow me. What is this place? It's an old Cold War bunker sometimes used as a relay station for NORAD. Are you based here? No, sir, I just service the equipment. I tour all these sites, spend two, three days in each one. You've got food and water? For five days. For one, man. <sighs> Meanwhile, panic buying strips shelves across the Midwest as fear grows over the duration of the Yellowstone eruption. Financial markets have been... America, Wyoming, Yellowstone, Kuritz Koei, Sudai Tanko, Yatko, Shinsei Kashita. No se aún es la escala de la erupción. Las próximas horas serán críticas y Estados Unidos se prepara para soportar. This is what I call a GG, a global geophysical event. No. It's going to affect everyone on the planet. The government has to start planning now for how we're going to eke out the supplies we have because, well, we really are in for a hell of a time. is still the subject of conflicting and confusing reports. While officials claim it is the small to moderate event predicted, the ash cloud has spread well beyond the area that's been evacuated. Prompting fears that the eruption is much bigger than anticipated. God. 